Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Card Games on Motorcycles. It's pretty much what the game is, yes. Because other motorcycles, but <laughs> yeah, it's it's basically card games in like ancient Europe. Okay, so let's see. You dare to challenge the dark deck of the darkness, ruler? Rose duelist or not, you don't stand a chance. He um, has really bad cancer. Yes, he does. He should, he should does have that look then. I, I, I guess darkness does not have a good um, healthcare system. Well, look look at this. Look at his board. Does it look like George just has a good healthcare system? I don't know. I don't judge people by the board. <laughs> well, I do, damn it. I just know uh, that I, I, do the, I do the thing in turn one. Do the oh the cocoon? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty nice. No, I just need something to play the cocoon with. Yeah. Which I just did. Nice. No, I oh. just need to do it in the quarter. Uh, order. Yeah. I wonder where to just shove that in the corner and rape this dude. Ooh. In in several turns. Face up defensive. Like oh, it has like a special animation. There we go. <laughs> uh, liquid beast. Do something. I totally did not read that as liquid breasts, by the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, liquid breasts. Even better than that, though, I do another video of card. Which which card? Oh, nice, the pumpkin king, which is you know. Which gets pulled up in this because it's a darkness monster. Nice. <coughs> you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm great. Good. I mean, I guess you were sneezing, so I. Just, I wasn't sure if, like, maybe, like, you, like, died or something. <laughs> no, I was just. I was sneezing. Death by sneezing. Ah, uh, that'd be pretty inconvenient. Probably. I mean, I've never died by something, so I couldn't say. <laughs> well, I would s I wouldn't recommend it. Is all I can say. I just know that he's so fucked, girly. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's going super defensive too. Because uh, I got video P monsters out there. Yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, man, I am so happy with our new deck setup. This is great. Yeah, we got lucky that we got the stuff from the insect. Deck. Yeah, 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 we did. Well, heart of cards, baby. Well, does he do like heart of the cards stuff? Oh, um, probably not. Maybe. Let's see. But, I mean, he won this because I, I put that out there just, just like a distraction, really. Right, right. That's kind of painful. But yeah, I took more damage and I oh, but it worked. Yeah. And I'm gonna lose from it. Right, right. So just show this cannon on a bug here. That'll be great. Not sure exactly how that actually works, but I take it. I don't know. So, um... Yeah, you can put the Pumpkin King in his way and, and be like Pumpkin but King bitch slap him, right? I can, but I can just wait another turn. I have no reason. Oh, yeah, it's true. Because the Pumpkin you King just gets more powerful. Right, right, right. By just sitting there and doing nothing. Being okay. like I'm the pumpkin king. And next turn the cocoon opens, which means I will then be able to power all of his monsters down while powering up my own monsters. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, that's super OP. Right. That's that's pretty OP. It's pretty good. And now we spring our trap, which isn't very much of a trap because this card was face up. Whatever. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just the animation for the mall thing. I forgot about that. Dude. Yep. Which, I mean, I guess he had to attack because if he just keeps defending, but he He's... should have gone like all in, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. They might, I might have another card that can do this. Nope. So I'm just gonna have to do it with the pumpkin guy. Yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> it works. Yeah, I mean, it just would have been a perfect victory otherwise. <laughs> yeah. I want to see how that thing actually attacks. 
Yeah, let's let's watch the pumpkin king bitch slap this guy. It's so weird looking, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, all right. Apparently, it breathes. Um, death. <laughs> it breathes death. Ah, uh, yeah. Suck it. It works. And now there's no way for him to stop my thing. Right. My mother father doomed. This Yeah. Nice. Perfectly ultimate great moth. <laughs> uh, I like still an like an OP name. <laughs> yeah, I know. Perfectly ultimate great moth. That name is super like uh Super it's, it's, Yu-Gi-Oh. It has eight stars, yeah. by the way. <laughs> wow. Well, I'd say it deserves it. Yep. And now I'm just gonna wait. This sounds good. Ah. Oh, I had four plans. Oh, well. <laughs> Uh, like I actually really needed that. Yeah. It is indeed nuts. Uh, bring yourself in isn't gonna work for all right now, guy. Hey, you move those one guys forward. And uh, actually, that's it's a trap. T ah. Literally, so it's 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 trap cards. Yeah, I see that. I'm glad I figured that out. Yeah. I was about to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that yes. thing. Um. So do points. Disable trap that spellbind for three turns and reduces his strength by one thousand. Okay. Yeah. So it is good. Do we do we sidestep that little misfortune? I mean, I really, our guy would have survived it anyway because he just could well, have powered himself up again. Yeah, yeah, but that would have that would have taken more time. He's already playing buff. So that works okay. Yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna keep those for now because I don't want to want to do the trap with my other god. Right. Yeah, that actually is the thing that, like, in the normal game you wouldn't know that, but here it's kind of OP where stuff that affects everyone, like, you can see what it affects. Yeah. So you can, so you can see, uh, if, if it doesn't hit a card. Yep. So, yeah, it makes it, it makes it even more OP. Man, I'm loving this stuff or not. So. Green Warrior. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot about that guy. Which, this was a different way to get do that combination, but yeah. Yeah. Man, he really likes, like, just turning himself void in here. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Ooh, that was close. But I... I lose by 50, which I guess is not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, goodbye, Trent. We won't really miss you that much. We'll punch this guy in the face for you. Yep. Be great. It'll it'll be the best. In fact, I'm gonna do like massive damage when I punch that guy in the face. Yeah, now. Ah, uh, going to strike his weak point for massive damage. The only thing is actually um that mm -hmm. five card. I'm a bit worried about it. Yeah, makes sense. I just figured you'd run into it again with your beetle or something. But I, it did stuck still. Oh right, right. It stuck for another like turn or whatever. Nah, I'm just gonna use the pumpkin and see what happens. Ah, uh, all right. Anyways, yeah. Uh, thousand damage. Thousand and fifty. 
Yeah. <laughs> if you if you want to be tactical, I guess the fifties count. Nope. It might make a difference in this whole game. Maybe. I just know that I got a force to make this even better for me. <laughs> I mean, as long as I use a pumpkin, I have no need to use a force, but. Yeah. The thing is, my moth is like impossible to defeat at this point because you need a monster that has enough attack to kill it while it is like really OP, but you lose strength every turn you move toward it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just like, <laughs> there's not much you can do about that. Okay, I'm actually gonna go play it a bit safe just to make sure that I don't like lose all my HP. Yeah, sounds good. And yeah, uh, spawning in a thing to, to uh, activate the trap, that's a good idea. Summoning your pumpkin knob a trap. Probably not, uh. Probably not sanitary. Infinite disposal. Let's play behind it. Which then I can put him in front of it so. It doesn't. He can't eat my guy. Right. Because otherwise he could, like, do quite a bit of damage if he has any good monsters. Yeah. Right, right. Well, she might. No, oh, actually, he just killed himself. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that he like moved towards. Dude, that's a weird strategy. That's really creepy, though. <laughs> What's this do? All right, I'm gonna look it up. But I mean, he actually still killed himself. But that would have been creepy. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Okay. Is that which will sacrifice two feet monsters with King of the Akami to summon Zero the Mand? Is that really oh. probably won't tell me what that kind of she does? Yeah, when this card is flipped not. face up and better than engage enemy spell on first three turns. Blood Seminar. King Yakami. That's a sweet sacrifice. Yeah. Let's see if I have like. Thing is, do I want to go for the kill or do I want to see what that card actually has? I I say go for the kill. If you want, if you really want the card, we can come back and fight him later. But you know, okay. general, I think it's better to just kill him faster, and that way you like you know you have more stuff to get on the roulette. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, just because I want to see what its effects were, but because yeah. I had a trap hole, but yeah. I can, I can understand that. I mean, dude, probably was really good for you. <laughs> yeah. Don't want anything specific. That spell, that that just chains actually pretty good. Yeah. One. Not quite. Oh, I was close to them. Uh, uh, one card is interesting. Is it just me? Is she grabbing her breasts? I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> She's not directly grabbing her breasts. Wait, the I I I'm not sure what that is, but yeah. Okay, now I see. <laughs> now, 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 yeah. She's pretty close to grabbing the breasts, though. So I got Nick Hunter, Queen Castle. Right, at least I got Infinite Dismissal, which is decent. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get the chains, but oh well. Ah, well, yeah. Well, well, we can if we need them, we can get them later. No! How can it be? How could I lose? By having AIDS. <laughs> By having lung cancer. Yeah, that too. Lung cancer AIDS. But now you have to go up there. Yep. <laughs> I'll how it adds the extra connected path too, let's see. I, I understand why, because you could go to it for longer, but yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. The neck hunter is actually pretty decent. Hmm, yeah. The fiend castle. Fiend monster. Um, probably not gonna get it just because I'm only gonna have that one fiend monster. 
Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be worth it. The only reason it was worth it for the other ones is because the Pumpkin King is super OP. OP. Yeah, and because I didn't have anything at that time. That they, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I might get rid of a big insect. Mm -hmm. And for it put in some. the this guy. Yeah, so you have an odd uh, higher attack power card. Makes sense. Insect soldier. I yeah, could use this. And for that put in the effect yeah. with it. This Alright. Yeah. Good. Good. Actually those two are useless. Yep. One that I can put in the big insect. Mm. I mean, which isn't that good, but it's something. It's, yeah. And I'm gonna put it in the bitch just in case. Ah. Uh, I'm fine. So she does. Well, she did the minus 100 to light monsters. Oh, right, right. So if Pegasus has light monsters, which. Actually, kind of makes sense. Uh, he has way more monsters. Yeah, yeah. I'm still going with my. Wait, that was only 16 like... minutes. So I guess we can do another fight. Uh all right. I was gonna say, let's make this a short part and go ahead and, uh, you know, end it here. Cause why not? But why not? So, um, I, I don't have a good British accent. So you're in America. Well, I know, but he's the British America guy. <laughs> Give him an American so, accent. He's always American. Well, I naturally have an American accent, I imagine, but I'll, uh, I'll try. So, you've managed to beat a few minor duelists, what what? Well, let's see how you fare against my machine deck. Wait, that's how British people talk in America? No, <laughs> not even sort of. What what? <laughs> what what, bro? No, I know why I'm have good say twins because they have a really <laughs> good image of them. Is that what we mean the other way around? Both or ways. Wait. Yeah, I I think both ways. I think everyone has a weird image of each other. Right, I can put like gun on. Especially I can put Especially a gun pairs. Yeah. On a fucking insect. Never gets old. <laughs> Never gets old. Why is that such a that thing bad. I didn't expect? Yeah. It's pretty bad. It's, I... Yeah. It's it's not great. It's a thing. It's not great. Snake Yashi. I have to make his 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 tank is pretty spiffy, what what? <laughs> Total biscuit <laughs> that eat your face. <laughs> uh, I imagine if you watch this video he probably wouldn't approve. But hey, who knows? Maybe yeah, Total Biscuit Maybe. really is super British stereotype because he's like I totally agree, what what? Ah, <laughs> uh, that'd be the best. I would, I would love to watch a total, total biscuit video and just, and just to him be like, well, I totally agree with this opinion, Cheerio. Yes, what, what? Ah, <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, but you know, yeah, because that's what people, that's what British people do. They say, they say Cheerio and what, what a lot, and they uh, they carry canes and top hats everywhere. Yeah, I see. Toy was gonna agree with the top hat side at least. Yeah, top hat's pretty hype. Um, a spider. You what up, monocles? Well, I guess those two. Yeah. Oh, his, his mechanical spiders getting raped by our Quagar Hercules. Very much so. I don't know why he decided to attack with this little spider. Okay. Ah. Uh, that was a thing that happened. <laughs> that was a thing that happened. Was that card important at all? When this card is flipped face up, one card, other, card other than this is randomly selected and destroyed. Where he oh. killed his own card. <laughs> oh, he killed his own card. Ah. <laughs> uh, 
Bell Jaime is super He, he killed another mechanic <laughs> spider. Uh, yeah. The card is super powerful, but yeah, it's that's that's kind of oh, funny. It is. Yeah. I probably should stay away from that for now. Probably so until you can get out your pumpkin king and beef it up and then get out some grasslands and spread them about. <laughs> That's kind of what I do. Yes. Yes, indeedy. I'm glad he killed a monster. <laughs> For a moment, I actually yes. thought it would do that every time. I should have been coming very frustrated. <laughs> oh, the randomly killed things. Yeah, I knew it would do it every turn, but um, that would be frustrating. It would be funny if just by dice rolls he continued to just randomly kill his own monsters. Uh, yeah, but then you first. I mean, what you would just do is stop playing monsters and then it's up when you're yeah, exactly. die. Yeah, yeah. But I got the pumpkin, by the way. Good. I, I see that. It's it's quite the pumpkin specimen. Yes. I actually forgot to flip it up. Oh, right. <laughs> I, I forgot that's part of the process. You gotta flip it upwards so everyone can see it. So you can be like, look. It's buffing the shit out of itself. Do something. Which actually might end up being a problem because I don't go near the cards to defend it. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see, I don't think um wait, does Pumpkin King No, he gets uh shadow, not from the from these, right? Right, actually he got from this and shadow. Okay. Because he's a shadow monster, but he um, is also a uh, zombie. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. So that's that's actually kind of which I think. So I was going to say, um, well, if you get a grassland, then you can make him and the other thing a little more even levels, but the other thing would still be. Uh, more yeah. powerful because neither of them would have the buff. But I can I still have other stuff that gets buffed by grasslands. Like that's true. It'd be, you know, we'd very easily, I, I imagine, be able to buff a plant that high if we had enough stuff. You know what you got once, but Rain of Mercy. It's, uh, it's quite merciful, I, I guess. This <laughs> It adds 500. That's good, but yeah, it looks like your the pumpkin will have to start running. Yep, but I want to first to see those. Yeah. yeah. Which means he can catch you, and it will be a perpetual chase scene. Hopefully. Hopefully it's a very short one. Maybe I just throw something that can kill him. Oh, I'm yeah. hoping to draw the freaking Hall of Doom, but I'm not. Yeah, yeah, the, the, that would be super sexy right now. In that case, I'm just. You know what? Like a pussy. Okay. This <laughs> is. Sounds like a reasonable plan. Thing is, he's. Yeah, he's really powerful. Yeah, I know. It's. It's. Gonna be hard to be able to outdo him right now. But he only has one of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, currently. <laughs> yeah, currently. At least you don't have harpies. Yeah, it's, it's nice that he doesn't have harpies. I was gonna say, you know, it would be funny, and I know this is a super low chance. Um, though I can imagine this actually happening in game. Um,. Like someone drawing a second one, and they they all flip the it up. First one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I bet that's happened to someone. But I'm sure there have been enough games that that would have happened at some point. Yeah. The <laughs> funny thing is, I cannot go back into defensive. Because <laughs> you had to run up there to defend this um, guy. Guy, uh, right. Nice. That's a good strategy. Keep him distracted. At some point, my epic, 
mushroom, it's not a mushroom, whatever. A pumpkin of doom, it'd be a pumpkin of doom. <laughs> yes. You shall indeed. And he shall enslave all of the evil robots. It's no one. Um, no one. Let's hope that I might actually do this one, but we just have to see. You have to believe in the heart of the cards, you know? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, we, you, you might, but I'm not, at the moment I'm not actually doing that bad of a vibe for it. Then again, we haven't seen that much of the rest of what he actually has. I should have always put that in the fucking defense mode. Oh, shoot, yeah. I didn't realize it wasn't in defense mode. It's, it's something I don't like about this board. Because otherwise, I would have been like, hey, to pay or put every like put that in defense mode. But I can't tell. There's so many like, because it's a four-dimensional board. It's so confusing. I, I guess that's the problem of chess. <laughs> chess is a confusing game. Well, chess is a few confusing game for different reasons. <laughs> um, let's just put that there. Yep. Yeah. I wish this pumpkin guy would consider the plan. That would really help me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's a pendulum. Really powerful too, by the way. Yeah, that is the pendulum. That's that's pretty scary. You really use a forest card right about now. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> I, I could really use a water deck right about now. <laughs> yeah. Op water decks. I like to an infinite dismissal. Hmm, true. Which, interesting enough, doesn't infinitely dismiss, dismiss anything. It just dismisses them, dismisses them for future things. Yeah, which. It's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um. Mm hmm. Move this over here. Yeah, and don't forget to. Uh, put your things in uh okay we go on. I'm just gonna be like don't forget to put them in, in defense mode because yeah. yeah. Can I back to that? Take that pendulum of doom. Well he's out of the question for quite a bit. Yeah. He turns that's nice. No, I just need to draw the fucking portal too. The yeah, yeah. The black hole. Man, not the black hole, but the 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 trap hole thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's it's, <laughs> it's close enough to black hole though. It's, yes, it is. Just um, yeah. Insect, insect, fiend. I'm assuming you're not a light monster. He's done. But that's almost the same. Darkness <laughs> and light, right? Ah, totally. It's, it's totally the exact same thing. I'm actually gonna burn in the hope of making something. Right now, in the hope of drawing. Oh, right. God. <laughs> Makes sense. Guess I'm kinda in the. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. You had a magic jammer. Oh. Yeah. Magic jams, magic, magic. <laughs> I hate when people jam my magic. It's yeah, it's pretty bad. So pumpkin king of the ghosts. He's he's getting kinda of far up there. 
Yeah, though he might end up dying this time. Yeah. I had to move him forward because I didn't have much of a choice. Right. I have to get away from there. But hey, okay, he didn't die. Good. Epic duel! Actually, I guess we can look at what the fucking Beaver Dragon actually does. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Just Beavers. Just why not? It's America, man. It's, it's certainly American. That's the thing I love about about machine decks is they're really American. Yeah, very metal. Yes, yeah, very metal. Pumpkin, just move. You take. I don't know. How does the cards, bro? Is <laughs> that uh, don't die a lot would be nice. Um. Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. Yeah. What I have to do now is put down my lava thingy. Because otherwise I'm dead. Defense and. Mode. Going to defense too, I guess. Pumpkin. Going to defense for one turn. God damn it. You suck, you mental guy. It's kinda unlucky that I never do the card I really quite need it. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of been the, the the problem with this here is that yeah, we haven't we haven't gotten any of those cards that you need for this kind of duel. We've gotten a few nice nice cards, but none of the um you know but the pumpkin. Yeah, we got a pumpkin, but we didn't get the larvas and we didn't get the um hard counters for for you know areas like this or to be different areas <laughs> and well, forest isn't necessarily a hard counter but it's a it's a counter all right it's better yeah. than fighting on his own turf um and why we added i guess i can let myself with these monsters all right Sounds good. I'm most positive of no at least he's still spellbound for another turn. I get spellbinding <laughs> takes forever. Yeah it does. It is really nice. Mm. If I do the correct card I could actually um, get the pumpkin up to the strength of that bevel ring. Yeah. Wait, I, which... I still have the first oh. one above. Right, right. That's and then true. I could just continue buffing it. Yeah. I mean, he used the spell thingy already because he had used the spell block, which I don't think is more than one of. Right, right. I don't imagine so. I, and speaking of which, we also got all monkey with that, cause he, um... He took out my, like, best buff of the ever. Yeah, well, he did take out your, your great buff, um, which was really unfortunate, and he himself buffed his creatures, cause... Uh, his, his metallic creatures, cause otherwise, by now, I actually think that, uh... Pumpkin, the pumpkin would be stronger than him. Is calling Bob the pumpkin? No, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> yeah, you should have quoted that. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm calling Bob the Pumpkin. Because <laughs> he's Bob the Pumpkin. And Bob I think he... like half of my body just gave out on me. Because I'm having like a cramp. <laughs> you should tell it to stop doing that. Stop doing that, are you okay? Yeah, I mean, unless I stop talking, then I'm probably not okay. <laughs> well, you should continue talking then. And not, and ignore the fact that, that your poor deep forest got buzzsawed. <laughs> Why would I ignore that? It was beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. If I win this, I'm like, the, like I could beat Yugi. <laughs> uh, I'm better than Yugi in this game. 
Well, at least this certainly is one of those games that is starting to depend on the heart of the cards. <laughs> I do it. You drew the... I drew the acid boy. Ah, nice. That's Man. I mean, I, I, I just say it was thanks to my epic stalling tactic. <laughs> ah, indeed. Up to 4,000, but he was still under 4,000. Nice. <laughs> uh, which means, I believe, your uh, your pumpkin should be able to single-handedly take out most of any of his creatures. Unfortunately, I don't know what most of them are. Yeah, that's why I'm going to keep the pumpkin in defense for now. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Let's see if we get any more heart of the card luck. You got my PT thingy, which is actually not that bad to have, because... As long as I keep it in defense mode, it's gonna hurt me, because there's only two places I can get attacked from. Yeah. I'm currently just gonna wait on the forest, actually. Right. Sounds good. Because I actually buffed up that one monster pretty good, so it has, um... 2,000 currently, but it would have, um, 2,500 on the forest area. Right. Which is, yeah, it's pretty good. There's a forest. So I'm going to. One, two. Move him over here. Mm -hmm. Move him up. I, unless it, I, I, I don't, I've never seen a card in this game which that can move next to it or some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, I. It, this doesn't appear to be that type of game. Also, he would need to be able to move two extra feet because it just took away his advantage. Right. <laughs> I see. Yeah, indeed you did. So, um. Yeah. So then move him there. And he's actually still on his own adventure. But actually, the, his own adventure is useless, really, by the way. Yeah. Because uh, whenever he's in the home advantage field, the They're other guys are going to... Yeah. 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 That's true. But, hey, at least he can move around the rest of the fields. Yeah, he's... It doesn't matter where he stands, he's the same quality. Which is actually yeah. not that bad. Right. And he's just going to keep pulling up. I can move this guy back. And... 2,300, which is actually, I guess I'm gonna keep him like that, and then I'm gonna spawn this guy over here, and make him in defense. Now I can go for him directly, hopefully. If so, power increase. Yep. Um, move him up there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down. Oh, is this actually considered dinosaur? I'm, I'm probably gonna split out because I thought it was considered zombie. Undead. Yeah, yeah. It's a fucking mammoth grave. <laughs> right? Yep. Why is it even? It's not technically a dinosaur anyway. Unless yeah, I'm like nothing. fucking up here. Is, no, you're not fucking up. I don't know why it's considered a dinosaur. I'm not sure why I'm actually putting that face up, but I don't know. I guess just so if we don't forget to put it there. I just this feel like putting it a face up. I like how he just doesn't move those anymore. Yeah. I guess he doesn't want it to get killed, so he's just like, no. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'll pass. How powerful is this now? Almost... Four thousand. Wow. They can almost bypass that trap you have. Yep. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Start my attack. <laughs> There's a trap magic card. Oh. I, I personally thought it was gonna be a trap. Alright. Fun. 
to what I want. No, um, just keep you fence for now. I guess that's good. I, I, like, I'm trying to just block off any escape paths with my death. Yeah, yeah, any escape paths or any uh, side attack paths you might go for. Yeah, like that. Just trying to escape. So, probably, I'm quite gonna attack him once he goes onto the forest. Mm. Like with yeah. the side paths there. Yeah. Because like, right, this right. guy can move too and then he can attack him on there where. He hopefully should not be that strong. Yeah. I need to psych us through stuff again. <laughs> Actually... I'm gonna get rid of the fatigue thingy. Alright. That's fine, we'll be able to kill him properly when we kill him. Yeah, I mean... High defense monster is probably better in that case. The thing is, I can't actually attack him on there till I get the forest over there. Right, because otherwise it gets super risky, because, yeah. Yeah, um. He'd be off your territory on his. So, in that case, move her back. Get him out of this mode. Move him over there. I guess these boys are gonna get very confused on what the hell is going on, Kirby. Yeah, I imagine so. I, I, uh, he's just like, um. And he's combined the two. That was a nurse. Whatever that thing is, it's probably dangerous now. <laughs> it's probably slightly dangerous. Or it's nothing. <laughs> Don't underestimate Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> well, the issue is oh, hey, the cocoon. Yes, I want to be cautious where I put that because wherever I put it, I'm it, like, there's no way to get out of that direction. Right. Yeah, that is true. It's kind of trapped there, and anything you put it like that, it's like you move to. Yeah, I should not do that. Just yeah, you don't want it to. to you know. In that case, I mean, I made on the cocoon. Yeah, sounds good. Got this one, anyways. Yeah, okay, we kill the gatekeeper. <clears throat> Take that, you gatekeeper. And, uh, yeah. Oosh. But when I was like, I forgot to put it in defense mode, but I actually did. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> this is... Guess he can't reach it this time. Mm. Right. Yeah, yeah, he can't. Uh... Well, that's only unlucky. He decided to attack me. Right, that was my follow scout, which wasn't that important because I already used one, but yeah. Yeah. In that case... I don't think you can put... Wait, oh, okay, you can now? I can't put another thing. Oh. Okay, this guy's actually my friend, so he's just gonna stay there for now. And she should hopefully be with powerful enough, yes. Giant Max Soldier, who dies? <laughs> who dies to the Royal Spectre of Don? And, uh, yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're now in the lead on life points. Or maybe we already good. were. No, we are now. We did it on it. We did 1,000. Okay. The cocoon might um, actually end up dying, but I'm kind of using it as a bait, actually. Yeah, yeah. 
At this point, I don't think it mind. It, it matters. If it ends up dying. We just need to get over to his, you know, person or or whatever and smack it around. So I'm hopeful for it. Okay, I'm probably just gonna go for the kill on this guy just to make sure. Because I don't like him being alive. Yeah, yeah. That's quite understandable. I don't think very many people like him being live. I certainly don't. Um, I start running the fuck away. <laughs> All the more reason he doesn't deserve to be alive. I don't appreciate it. S stupid coward mechs. Shouldn't even be able to be cowards as a machine. Well, I guess it's their muscle, they recover muscle than themselves. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Giant mech wolf. Or gigum tech. Wait, was wolf. this in was this thing in defense mode or offense mode? He was in defense. Okay. I was gonna say if he was, it that would have been game. Yeah. Oh, um, again, we're really close to game, anyways. But yeah. Yeah, the thing. That was a thing to power up the uh, pumpkin king. Yes. Which. Kinda useless right now, but okay. <laughs> yeah. If I move him down, I'm dead, so I'm gonna defend. Because if he runs into this, he dies. Because then the pumpkin will catch up with him, which is kind of silly. You know, with a pumpkin running behind a giant pendulum. <laughs> How often do you get see that? That's a good question. You don't see that very often. Slot machine. Which, as expected, is really powerful. Yep. And actually take on our beetle. Which I should have watched that because the fucking slot machine killing someone. But okay. Yeah, I was actually wondering about the animation for a I was like, what is, what is this even gonna look like? But uh, it's mm. fine. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll put this guy down. As long as I don't space out, that works. I, I should probably look at the slot machine. Um, I should look at the card that he used on it because I'm really curious what. Because I know there was like a big power up in that. Oh, okay, it just got 700 extra. Okay. Because I was like curious. I didn't want it to power up this thing and then murder my pumpkin because that would have sucked. Right, right. That, yeah, that would be pretty bad. But actually, said it's not that good, so it only has a base of 2000. Huh, oh yeah. Interesting. Which means... I can get this guy down here. If he kills this, I can kill him as a plan. Because he gets powered down. Right. See, I, I'm, I'm a smart person. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're doing surprisingly well to the yu gi -Oh's. It's not really Yu-Gi-Oh, but he is. Now let's see what the stuff she does. So he's gonna attack only one in a billion times. <laughs> <laughs> but I must say that the effects on this are like super extreme. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, I I noticed that. I'm like these dual monsters just look so cool. Yep. I like how I actually powered on my cocoon, which is a bit funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. The only thing is, I'm always super like afraid of having forgotten to put something in defense mode. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm understandable. pretty confident I did this correctly. Right. Good. But it sucks to lose one turn before winning. Yeah, it really would. But um, because he, I think I actually killed him though. Because he this guy does a bunch of damage. Um, you'll almost kill him. I think you'll still have to hit him with the other thing. And then the other guy will do the rest of the damage. Right, right. Not quite, but uh, almost enough. Oh. 
That's unfortunate. Yeah, it is a kill the slot machine. Yeah, yeah, you kill the like OP slot good. machine and you kill it. It's really funny, is this like a card that defines them, but the other monster was way more dangerous? Ah, uh, yeah, the giant mech thing they summoned the game was super dangerous. The slot machine was just like, oh, okay, you'll just swap that away with our super OP stuff. Power increase, 4000. 300. <laughs> it's over 4,000. Which is extreme in this game. I I know, seriously. That, like, against a player, that's a one-hit kill. Like, you know. Yeah, I, I think they there's got no kill card that is on that level. Like, the yeah. energy is an outright kill card. I would do that. Right, right. Because I think the 4,001 is the best one that we have. Yeah, which makes sense. Cause there's not much that you can spawn, that you, you at least don't spawn anything in above 4,000. Which, um... I'm also out of cards. So I'm glad <laughs> this worked. Uh, yeah, I am too. But I mean, all my big plays actually came together. I got the cocoon, I got the pumpkin, yeah. and I got the green guy. Right. So yeah, yeah, it's definitely been good. And there's the cocoon coming to form. So now... For one, we can power down anything he still has, and for two, I can we can tell. Cuts. Yeah, that's actually what yeah. I'm waiting on currently. Yeah, yeah. So we don't accidentally trip over a big trap or something. I don't want to take like massive damage. Right. Like, like because there's a card that actually, like I said, there's a card that bounces back in attack and does this damage to you personally. Which right. if he had that, I'd be dead. Yeah. I don't think he owns it, but yeah. Yeah, I don't think that sounds like a machine deck thing, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, the, the Harpy Lady normally has that, but I don't think that she has that in this game. Right, right. Perfectly ultimate great moth. Four thousand, by the way. Wow, okay, so I guess the perfectly but ultimate only great moth in the forest. Yeah, in, in the forest. Man, I have so many OP cards right now on the field. <laughs> oh, I know, it feels great. Like, even if he had that dragon thingy again, it wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I, yeah, there's not a whole lot he could draw out of. Alright then. So those be are monsters. And that's pretty much it. Do I want to yeah. use it offensively? I mean, I don't know about like there's not much I could kill it. Yeah, I, I don't think you need to worry about using it defensively. You could actively defend, but hmm. yeah, it it'd be kind of I'd be pretty surprised if he had anything. If he has something to murder me right now, I'd be surprised. Most of all, considering his guy is on the forest field. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, okay, they, they definitely can. He's flipping that shit. Then he does that for whatever reasons. <laughs> I don't know. I'm rather confused about this. Well, I just... Let's see if this was like his like super brilliant fucking move. Nope. But hey, I got to kill Meta's Zola, Zola, whatever. Let, let's see what the let's great monster Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I'm like, we gotta see what the Great Moth does at least once in this let's play. It's very electric for being like a Great I'm, Moth. This is, I know, seriously. God, the screen is just flipping out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's. <laughs> great Moth, you don't fuck with them. Yeah, he, hey, he just fucks people up. Yeah, <laughs> apparently they just shoot a electric. It is like a victory dance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, yeah, do 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 do. Great moth, and that's penis. game. Yep, killed by the great moth. Yep. I say that Steak has been doing pretty decent. I'd say Steak is doing pretty great. I'm happy with it. It's good green because like I, the pumpkin is actually really good in the sense that um. The way that I have the uh, like I have nature cards, but if I'm fighting on like I was fighting on the wrong territory, but the pumpkin is opposite, so it's really good for that. Yeah, yeah, that is that is certainly nice to have. So what do I want? 
I want a D spray actually, that'd be nice. Yeah. I, I can't pick specific ones out of this. I I know, there's a fucking lot. Okay, let's try this. Uh. Maybe both of them put it in right away. Okay. Yeah, hey, one guy is not decent. Yeah, pendulum machine. I missed the seven, seven, seven. Actually, the seven, seven, seven would have been so <laughs> Yeah. Right, it would have been so funny if you got three seven, seven, sevens in this, this thingy. <laughs> uh, I can't. Oh wait, I can't believe you actually beat me. What? What? Me, the card professor of the Grows Crusaders. I like how that actually makes the like super top like accent make it sound even better because he's a card <laughs> professor. Yeah, I know. I didn't expect it to be fitting. I like how it zooms uh, down to show that it moves up. That totally made sense. Yeah. Oh, it's Leverman's guy. Hmm. Which again Lever made no sense in the show because they hire Leverman's guy to fuck up Yugi. But then, the, but the plan is for you to get to the final duel. <laughs> I remember, yeah, you told me about that, and it's like, what if they didn't anyways? Um, we should end here, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so, thank you all for watching, and being all beautiful good peoples, and we shall see you all next time, cheerio and what what. Take it.